Hello there. Welcome to audio three, and this is learning verbs um, for Victor's adventures in Spain. Las aventuras de Victor en España, the parallel textbook, amongst other things. Now, so we're learning verbs, okay? These verbs are gonna go with all of the vocab that you've learned from the previous audios and videos. Now, we're into the seas, las tres, okay? Now, the first word is, the first verb, I should say, is to dine. Now, there's a little bit of confusion about what is dining, which part of the day, okay? Um, let's work on the premise that dining and dinner is the evening meal, okay? Because that's what it is in, in correct Spanish, okay? There are lots of other words I get used, but basically, evening meal is the dinner, okay? And the word for dinner is to dine, I should say, to dine, is cenar, cenar, okay, or cenar. So how can you remember that? Well, cenar sounds like thinner, doesn't it? And of course, if you don't dine, you're going to get, if you don't have dinner, I should say, you're going to get thinner, okay? If you, if you don't have dinner, you're going to get cenar. So thinner, thinner, because you're not having your evening meal. So to dine, thinner. Okay, next one is, this one's interesting. This is a, um, a new word, really, that's kind of only come up over the last 20 or 30 years, I suppose. And it's designed around chat rooms, and it's to chat. So it isn't to chat amongst friends, okay? That's, that's a whole different kind of verb. This is to chat online, and the verb is chatear chatear okay now so chatear and it might be on on a phone as well so you, you know any kind of um one of the networks social networks chatear so it's chat and it's got an ear on it because if you're chatting you're going to have to listen with your ear as well aren't you chatear chatear okay so nice and easy okay Next one is to eat. Maybe you know this one already, maybe you don't. To eat is comer, comer, okay? So I always used to think of this, come here and eat, comer, comer and eat. So comer, to eat, excellent. So imagine, yeah, imagine a mum saying to her son, come here and eat. Comer. Now, to buy, to buy, to buy goods, to buy goods. We always say goods, don't we? We don't say buy bads. Why would you? Okay, so to buy is comprar, comprar. Okay, so comprar sounds like comparison, doesn't it? And when you go shopping, when you go to buy things, of course you make comparisons all the time. When you go comprar, you make comparisons. Which is better value? Which is the best one? Which is the cheapest one? Which is which is the one I like? Comprar, to buy, and to make comparisons. Then the last one is to tell a story. And it's also to count, okay? The same verb. Interesting, eh? To tell a story and to count. And the verb is Contar, contar. Okay, be careful with this one. It's irregular when it breaks down. Okay, the O becomes UE. So, contar is to count, but it's also to tell a story. You, I'm sure you've, you may have heard in, in some of the videos uh, that Cynthia and I have done, if you listen to them, that often we'll say, que te cuentas, que te cuentas. That's what have you got to tell me? And this is this verb, contar, okay? And we have a word about telling a story, which is to recount. Now that's interesting, isn't it? That, that contar is to tell a story and to count, because when we are recounting a story, that means that we are telling it again. So clearly if you have to recount a story, then the initial story must be the count, okay? You must count it and then have to recount it. I don't know. So, contar 
is to recount or to count. Mm -hmm. Bien. Okay, so there are verbs. Let's see how many you have remembered. And you're going to find is that what you're going to find is the more you use the system, the easier it becomes, and the more readily your mind accepts these ideas. So that when I give them, and when in the future when you start to invent your own ideas, which you will, for sure you will, because it's a brilliant system, your mind will just say, Oh yeah, that's great, that's a great way of remembering it, and you'll remember it. Okay? So, first one. Cenar. Cenar. What's that one? Well, if you don't have dinner, you get thinner. Cenar. So cenar is to dine. Okay? To dine on an evening. Then we've got chatear. Chatear. Yeah. It's chat room. Talking in a chat room and listening with your ear. Chatear. What about this one? Comer. Comer. Mum shouting of a son. Comer to eat. So comer to eat. Okay, excellent. Doing well here, aren't we? Next one. Comprar. Comprar. Okay, so where do you make a comparison? When you're out going to shop. Okay, when you're going to buy something. Comprar. And have little expressions like ir de compras. That's to go shopping. Ir de compras. O hacer la compra. Hacer la compra, which is to do the food shopping. So they all come from the verb comprar, to buy and to make that comparison. Okay, next one is contar. Contar. Okay, so what's that one? Contar sounds like count, doesn't it? And so it is to count, contar, and also to recount a story, to tell a story. Yeah? Que te cuentas? What have you got to tell me? And what have you got to tell yourself? It's a strange thing, but that's what they say. Okay. Bien. So there you are. That's the, the C's. We're still going to continue with a few more C's in the next one, but that's number three over. Nos vemos en el número cuatro. Hasta luego, chicos. Y que sigáis estudiando y aprendiendo y recordando todo. Remember, keep studying and keep remembering everything. ¡Hasta luego!